All right, traders, another nice day in the chat room. Nice teamwork. Um, this is the watch this video for Friday already. Can you believe that? Friday, January 11th. Spy gap down today, but ended up kind of basically, I don't know if it meets the exact definition, but basically an engulfing candle after gapping down, uh, taking out yesterday's highs. Um, so we are still grinding higher. It's pretty impressive balance after the, you know, if you scroll over, what, about two weeks, felt like the end of the world. And look at that. Um, Pretty impressive bounce. So what am I watching tomorrow? So AXSM um, had the gap up and this crazy candle, and then it tried to follow through. And now you've got two days lower, but today had a nice late day rally. For those of you that weren't in chat, man, there were several people in the chat room looking for this over seven right here. Took off. I ended up telling people that I liked it over this flag even more than over seven and did a little midday quiz or afternoon quiz. Does anybody know why? And uh, several of you said, because the next catalyst is very close now. And that's the exact answer I was looking for. You know, if you break through seven here, it still had like 22 or 23 cents to go to get to what I would deem the next catalyst, right? High of day break. But then, so you got through seven. You may have gotten flushed out right here if you took the seven break, but then you got this nice tight flag. And that, to me, that one, it never really looked back. Um, on the daily, it's a weird candle. I mean, an, another crazy wide range, but I definitely want to watch this one again tomorrow. Um, S-A-E-X. Uh, I totaled over, believe it or not, over 600 bucks in my account just trading this one today and never really caught what I thought was the best entries. Um, uh, early on, again, for those of you not in chat, I just called this. Uh, my first long was uh, right, right there, uh, thinking if we break the high of day, we're going to, uh, you know, maybe squeeze. And it went up like 20 something cents in the next minute or two, but then came right back down. I had, you know, I made a few hundred bucks or whatever I made and a couple other trades on the day. I do think we need to watch this one again. I mean, it's getting massive volume. It held up. Let's go to fives again. Um, you had a nice lunchtime pop here. And if you weren't in chat right about here, I think I said S-A-E-X and then one other symbol worth watching. You know, in the next couple minutes, it did that. Um, I did not catch this move. Uh, lunchtime trade, and I saw it happen. And I just didn't pull the trigger. Um, but anyway, it held up really well, and uh, you got a nice two-day pop. Um, it's such a such a thin stock that, uh, you know, it's getting massive volume now, but it can really move at times. Um, we're not in the kind of market where these low floaters will double and triple in a day. And it's really, really important as a trader to know that and then trade them accordingly. All right. But uh, I do want to watch this again, even though we've got two green days in a row. You, know, you feel like at, at some point you're joining a group of chasers. But um, CCCL, I want to keep watching. You have this big two-day pop here. And it's really just kind of in a flag, especially if uh, maybe some good positive Chinese news, uh, the tariff talk, talks with China comes out. This because it just ripped a, about a week ago, a little over a week ago. It's a good candidate for maybe a push back through two. Um, so it goes on watch. ANFI is all the way up here, well away from the moving averages. I think they had earnings maybe yesterday, but it's uh, it held up pretty well and had a nice pop today. Um, and it ended up uh, hitting a dollar three at one point, settling in right below a dollar. Uh, this one I don't love because it feels like chasing, um, but I am going to have it on a chart. That, that's one of those that like, Every day I'm not watching it, it moves. Every day I'm watching it, it, it doesn't meet any of my parameters and I get no trigger on it. So anyway, uh, I'll put it on watch. INPX, big volume today, but closing well off of its highs, um, closing about where it opened. And this one has gotten slapped down here, back here, but it did have a big pop back here. So, you know, it doesn't mean it's going to do this again, but um, I do think it's worth watching. That volume is going to catch some people's attention. They actually had what sounded like decent news. So I'm going to watch that one tomorrow. Bed Bath and Beyond, BBBY, just looking for a follow through day. Big pop today um, on earnings uh, off of a pretty ugly daily chart. So we might have some more short covering to go tomorrow. So that one goes on watch. Um, let's see, BB, uh, VHC uh, gave a nice bounce play entry today um, that nobody in the room saw. I actually did a chat room search to see if anybody posted the setup. I'll show it to you here, um, including me, by the way. Um, nobody in the room and usually as uh, so I said the chat room feels off because usually when we have a stock from our overnight list or a gap playlist giving one of the setups we look for usually there's two or three or four people posting it before it triggers right uh, did a chat room search nobody saw it I don't know how that happened we're all um, still hung over from the holidays from from too much eating and too much drinking I don't know 
Um, but anyway, nice, decent, narrow range. Um, topping out in the opening five minutes, 358. Uh, the simple entry here is just an opening range breakout, and uh, which would have been 359. It ended up going through four. Um, anyway, I didn't catch a trade in it, but we should have. Anyway, um, you've got the big pop, then the red day, and now a green day. So it's kind of coiling. I'm going to look for, uh, see if this one can maybe push back up through four tomorrow and get going again. Not my favorite stock to trade, but we'll see. ACB is kind of interesting because it topped out. You know we love whole number breaks. It topped out right at six. Big volume. The pot stocks have been strong. If I show you five minute candles here, it hit six. One, two, three, four, I don't know, five, six, maybe six times or so. Well, no, right here it was slightly below it. But anyway, hit it here, hit it here. I think it hit it again here. Looked like it was rolling over and then right back up. So this one is interesting through six tomorrow. Um, you know, with a proper setup. We'll see how level two looks and all that. But pot stocks have been pretty strong. OPGN had this pop yesterday on, let me get this big volume stick out of it to kind of let you see this better. So decent volume for this stock yesterday went from 146 to 203. And then today, um, an inside candle uh, that topped out at uh, 190. So I do kind of like this over 190 tomorrow with a proper setup. Um, then you might just take out two and then uh, yesterday's high and and maybe squeeze a bit. So it's certainly a decent chart setup. Um, CFX. CFX topped out right back here at 22.18. Looked like it was rolling over. Next thing you know, it's right back up. Um, the next day it hit 22.08. Today it hit 21.99. So, you know, maybe through 22, and I'll show it to you on 15 minute candles, you can kind of see this cup and handle, right? A very clear cup and handle. So over 22, then. I view 2219 as the next catalyst um, and maybe a kind of a break out of this range. So that one's worth watching. A couple more. GoGo um, had the gap up on earnings. Um, I made a few hundred dollars trading this as a gap play yesterday. Um, didn't really look at it today, but I happened to notice it in my scans tonight. So you had the uh, rip through four. There's a lot of shorts in this name. It went to 412 yesterday. Um, today, what's interesting to me is it took out yesterday's low but that ends up reversing and closing up near the highs for the day. So um, I like this over 376. I'm actually going to put 377 in my notes again with a proper intraday setup. Uh, if it takes out today's high, maybe we make another run at four and maybe take out the 412. And um, this one's kind of setting up for a possible squeeze, but it was really, really whippy yesterday. Maybe things have calmed down and it'll trade a little more cleanly uh, tomorrow if we get a setup at all. And then lastly, KNDI. Had this big pop yesterday, quiet inside day today on lower volume. Maybe we get a third day move there. So um, that's plenty to watch, and we'll add some gappers in the morning like we always do. So uh, teamwork's been fantastic. Let's keep it up, and we'll see everybody in chat tomorrow.